All right, guys. Well, welcome to the new shop, Pepper Cat Keith's new shop. So, we finally finished up all the uh, working on the shop videos. I figured um, I'm gonna do a slideshow at the end of this video, and I'm gonna explain to you uh, what some of the projects that are gonna be coming up soon. Um, so, as you guys all know, here's the shop. Um, a lot of you guys have all been lost. Um, a bunch of my new subscribers have been lost. Asking me, what are you all about? Why are there tractor videos but no tractor videos lately? Well, what's been going on, guys, is, um, well, as you guys can see, I have a brand new shop. It's just got fully remodeled. Um, I don't know how long you guys been watching, but the roof was pretty much decked, so it replaced a lot of the boards. Uh, this whole wall actually ended up coming out, all new support beams, 4x4 um, four four posts, the whole nine yards. Uh, new footings, new foundation all the way going along. So it was pretty bad before, guys. So welcome to the new shop. Um, as you guys can see, there's all kinds of freaking crazy shit going on, going on around here. We've got chainsaws, Briggs Vanguard, which is my favorite one. All kinds of stuff like that. Honda's Echo, Polon, Home Light, Briggs and Stratton. We even got Kohler's. And there's all kinds of motor back there. So, I'm going to explain to you what's, uh, what's been going on, guys. So, here's what we get going on for projects. I'm going to go out in the backyard and I'll show you guys what we got going on. Craftsman. Well, here's some of the stuff we got going on in the backyard. First, show you some of the stuff in the far, far back. Back right here, we got, um, oh yeah, good tires that never fit my truck. Son of a bitch. We got um, my snow blower. This is a Craftsman. Bought it back in 2008. Um, it's got the little joystick at the top. Pretty good. And we got this um, Lazy Boy Rototiller, 3.5 horse. My uncle gave me that one. And then I just got recently got this uh, Murray I sold to my neighbor. He didn't want it, so then I wound up taking it back. So he actually gave it to me for free. So. Then we got uh, this wreck, it's PJ's John Deere, um, musty one from New Hampshire gave him that, or gave us that, and I gave it to PJ. Um, can't quite figure out what's up with it. It's got no spark, we've tried replacing the Magneto with a brand new one, and still nothing. So, then over here we have our scrap metal pile. It's really not that big. Usually we get quite bigger loads with tractors and stuff that are stripped down. So there's that. Then we got the redneck lawn chair that's still in the process of being built. It's an old Arians rear engine rider. So yeah, it's got a chain driven uh, some bitch in there that we put in. It is a uh, it's not a straight shaft. It's got the little separate shaft there. That's pretty good. Then we got uh, this. This was my power washer. It just recently broke, so I got to invest in a new one. Uh, the pump went on it. Unfortunately, I can't even find one on eBay. So then we got this Craftsman. It's an LT1000. I'm gonna make it an LT10000. By doing that, my plan is to swap out the seat. I'm gonna put a high back on it. I'm gonna take off the mower deck. I'm gonna sell that so I can get my money back on it. The tires are all going to be changed out with bigger ones. And I'm going to put, I'm going to rip out the six speed. I'm going to put a hydrostatic transaxle foot drive, foot pedal drive. And this one, I know it can be done because I've recently done it on my older DLT 3, uh, 3000. I swapped it over to a 4000. I know it can be done, so I have no problem with doing that. Uh, on it is an 18 horsepower Briggs ELS. I uh, just recently rebuilt. Still haven't been able to. Haven't had time really to figure out what's wrong with it, um, so we'll eventually put away at this project. So that'll be a fun little project. Then we got the house front I just recently purchased as well. It's got a 48-inch deck, electronic PTO, foot pedal drive. Um, it's got a 24 horsepower Briggs Inc. Tech on it. Um, the way I got it in was the push rods kept on bending on it. So I'm gonna have my buddy either tomorrow or. Wednesday come by and he's gonna uh, do a whole mess of stuff to it. We had it running, but it wasn't running that great. So 
It's a uh, 2009, I think it is. Yeah, something along that line. I think it's like a 2009. Um, then this is another Arians I bought in. Uh, it's got 11 horsepower Briggs, high low transaxle. Um, plan is for this. I'm gonna take off the mower deck. I got this thing for cheap anyway. I only paid like 80 or 60 bucks for it. Uh, if anything that's bad about it, it's the rear end, unfortunately. I'm gonna do a rebuild on it, to figure out what's wrong with it. And if I can fix the transaxle, I'm gonna do something that's never been done before. I'm gonna get an old Arian snowblower that's not made for this tractor, a regular snowblower. I'm gonna cut it up, I'm gonna leave the motor on it, and I'm gonna make a snowblower attachment for this thing. Never been done before. I'll be the first one to do it, I'll be the first one to see how it is. Recently purchased this dump cart up in when I was on vacation in Canada. Well, friggin' it broke. Completely bent the whole um, bottom of it. Literally smushed. So I got to heat it up with my oxyacetylene torches and we'll figure that out. Um, this is my 1991 Articat Jag. I bought it for 225 bucks. And the only reason why I bought it was because I just recently had the 95 Articat Jag. I bought the uh, 95 Articat Jag first. And then my dad didn't have one, so I bought him that one. I just recently traded in a tractor and um, my old snowmobile for this one. And this is my new Articat ZR700. So this is a qu pretty quick little sled I bought. I um, was able to trade everything off even, which is pretty cool. Then we got this Arians. Um, came in from the dealership. Um, didn't know what was wrong with it. I just happened to spray some starting fluid in it and crank it over and it fires right up. I've been using it to mow my yard since. I bought, I got this probably about a week ago. Um, over here we have a customer's lawnmower. It's a lawn boy to come some motor. Recoil is completely broken on it. The springs on the inside are shot. It was easier for me just to order a new recoil than it was to do the springs. Got all that for uh, right around 20 bucks. Shipping everything right off of eBay. This is my uh, 2006 Cub Cadet. Um, OHV, it's a 6.75 horsepower. And that's pretty much about it. So, I'm gonna uh, hopefully this helps out all my new subscribers. And yeah, welcome to the world of Pepper Cake Keith, the Jack of all trees. Oh, yeah, pretty gonna love your shop now.